Okay, so now we're ready to return to topology, and so we'll start with the definition. Let the set X together with some topology tau be a topological space. And let the set A be a subset of the space X. The interior of the set A is the set which we denote INT of A and this is the union of all sets U sub I where U sub I is a subset of the set A and U sub I is open. That is the interior of the set A is the union of all open sets contained in the set A. So as the interior of a set A is an arbitrary union of open sets, it is open, and as the interior of the set A is a union of all open sets contained in the set A, it is the largest, and by largest we mean the most inclusive, open set contained in the set A. And so the interior of the set A is always a subset of the set A. Further, if the set U is an open set such that the set U is contained in the set A, then that set is a subset of the interior of the set A, since once again the interior of the set A is the union of all open sets contained in the set A. So new definition. Once again, let the set X together with a topology tau be a topological space. and let A be a subset of the set X. The closure of the set A is the set which we denote CL of A and this is the intersection of all sets C sub I such that the set A is a subset of C sub I and C sub i is closed. That is, the closure of the set A is the intersection of all closed sets containing the set A. So as the closure of the set A is an arbitrary intersection
of closed sets. It is closed. And as the closure of the set A is the intersection of all closed sets containing the set A. It is the smallest and by small, smallest we mean the most exclusive closed set containing the set A. And so the set A is always a subset of its closure. Further, if the set C is a closed set, such that the set A is contained in the set C, then the closure of the set A is a subset of that closed set C, since once again the closure of the set A is the intersection of all closed sets containing the set A. Now the closure of A is sometimes denoted this way with a bar over the set. I will reserve this symbol for the algebraic closure of a set and not the topological closure of a set. So let the set X together with some topology tau be a topological space. Then for any subset A in the space X, we have that the interior of A is a subset of the set A, which is itself a subset of the closure of the set A. Okay, so now we're ready to prove a theorem. Let X together with some topology tau be a topological space. And let the set A be a subset of the space X. Then the subset A is open if and only if it is equal to its interior or it is its own interior and the set A is closed if and only if it is equal to its closure or it is its own closure. So proof. First statement. Suppose that the set A is open, then since A is a subset of itself, the set A is an open set contained in itself and so the set A is a subset of its interior. Now, since it is always true that the interior of the set A is a subset of the set A, we now have set inclusion in both directions. And so the set A is in fact equal to its interior. So conversely, 
Suppose that a set A is equal to its interior. Then, since the interior of the set A is an open set, the set A is open. Okay, second statement. Suppose that the set A is closed, then since the set A is a subset of itself, the set A is a closed set containing itself. And so the closure of the set A is a subset of the set A. Now since it is always true that the set A is a subset of its closure, we now have set inclusion in both directions, and so the set A is in fact equal to its closure. So conversely, suppose that a set A is equal to its closure, then since the closure of a set is a closed set, the set A is closed. All right, new definition. Let the set X together with some topology tau be a topological space. And let the element X be in the set X, that is, let X be a point in the space X. Then any subset A in the space X such that the point X is in the interior of the set A is called a neighborhood of the point X. Now if in, in addition the set A is open, then it is equal to its interior, and so the set A is called an open neighborhood of the point X. Okay, new definition. Let X, together with some topology tau, be a topological space. And let the set A be a subset of the space X. The exterior of the set A is the set which we denote EXT of A, and this is the complement of the closure of the set A. So notice that the exterior of a set A is open as it is the complement of a closed set. Further, since the exterior of the set A 
is the complement of the closure. We have that the complement of the complement of the closure is the complement of the exterior of the set A. Since the complement of the complement of the closure of A is the closure of A, we have that the closure of A is the complement of the exterior of the set A. So new definition. Once again, let X together with some topology tau be a topological space. And let the set A be a subset of the space X. The boundary of the set A is the set, which we denote this way, partial A. And this is the complement of the union of the interior of A with the exterior of the set A. Now, since the union of the interior of A with the exterior of A is a union of open sets, it is open. And so the boundary of A, which is the complement of this open set, is closed. Okay, so let the set X together with some topology tau on X be a topological space. And let the set A be a subset of the space X. Now at this point we are accustomed to uh, considering the subset A as a collection of points in the uh, set X. Let us now begin to consider the set A as a geometrical object in a topological space that has a boundary, an interior, and an exterior. Now for the sake of simplicity, let's assume that at least near the vicinity of the set A, that the space resembles a two-dimensional plane, much like uh, the real plane, and that the boundary of the set A looks something like this. Now there is a big difference between saying that a set has a boundary and that a set contains its boundary. The interior of the set A is everything that is inside the boundary but not including the boundary. The exterior of the set A is everything outside of the boundary but not including the boundary itself. Now the boundary is again the complement of the union of the interior of A with the exterior of A. And so if given the set we remove everything that's inside and then everything that's outside then what we are left with is indeed the boundary itself. Now the closure of the set A is the complement of the exterior of the set A. And so if we remove everything that is outside of the boundary, then we're left with a boundary and everything that's inside. And that is the closure. So consider a point inside the interior 
using the concept of an open neighborhood of that point. Consider a point that is in the exterior, again using the concept of an, of an open neighborhood of that point, and also consider a point that is on the boundary, once again using the concept of a uh, open neighborhood of that point. As an exercise, I would like you to try to develop a uh, conjecture that tests whether or not a given point in the space is in one of these uh, subsets. That is, let the point X be in the space X. Then show uh, as an implication that given that the point is in the interior of the set A, that this implies something about open neighborhoods. of the point X. Given a point in the closure of the set A, show that this implies again something about open neighborhoods of the point. Given a point in the exterior of the set A, show that this implies something about open neighborhoods of the point. And finally, given a point in the or on the boundary of the set A show that this implies something about the uh, open neighborhoods of the point X. And uh, in the beginning of the next lecture we'll uh, actually uh, prove not only the implication but also the converse and show uh, what it truly means for a point to be in one of these sets.